Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Tyranny. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today here in the presence of Kills in Shadow who ambushed us as we got into uh, wherever we're going. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible place uh, and this is actually the place that we see in the loading screen I think and uh, she's a terrible opponent I would presume. She's a member of the apparently the Shadow Hunter tribe and that's the only real line that we have here that uh, I think will appease her properly. I think this, uh, this thing or where we slap her uh, might gain her favor because I'm really not seeing this first one going anywhere uh, or maybe this one go who knows but I do know that I am a smart kind of guy and uh, yeah let's see if I can appease her and maybe we'll see how that goes so your markings must be from the shadow hunter tribe fate binder no stripes of beast women curious human male who smells of alpha and knows of shadow hunter tribe Best tribe. Lost tribe of kills in shadow. Hmm. Arise pin you with lust. The look of a wolf that's found a hair. Yeah, that lust is def. I mean, it might be inter intertwined with just any raw sexual tension there or something, but I think I think it, it's, it was said time and again what she wants is to eat us with her fangs and stuff. So, yeah. I... Yeah, introduce yourself properly before I lose my patience. Can fate bind a Nazi? Am beast woman? Am best hunter? Kills in shadow? Daughter of mystic brood mother? Relict? Alpha to pack of stone whelps? She huffs and sits back on her haunches, nar narrowed eyes, both curious and cross. Um. Amusing, but I have no time for beasts or. No, let's not go with that. I think that might, that might be too, uh, too forthcoming. Let's see. Explain yourself, this woman. What is it you want? Hmm. Humans. She hacks. The beast woman's nostrils flare wide and her eyes brighten with amusement. No human called Fate Binder. Cairo breeds words on paper. Fate Binder binds words to earth and sky. Makes ground tremble. Makes night cry. Blood and fire. Tribes of Kairos fear Fate Binder. Human Alpha claimed Horizon Rock called Spire, and Archons did not kill Fate Binder. Archons rolled over and whined, covetous. And what's your point, Beast Woman? Kairos hunts human realms to extinction. Rules tribe of blood and ruin, starvation and death. Seeks to slaughter Beast Women like prey. But beast women are not prey, are not flighty, feeble-minded humans. Kills in shadow spits a gob uh, of totty mucus on the ground. Beast women are savage hunters, bred to fight Kirut, like fate binder who smells of alpha. Strong always kill weak, then grow weak, and are killed. Is migration of life, but kills in shadow is not weak now. Will not be weak for many long seasons. We'll join Fate Binder and survive <laughs> Kairos's tribe. <laughs> I told you. I told you that she wanted to join us. I think we did that actually good enough. We invoked a little bit of fear at the beginning, I think, but the loyalty is right there. Uh, I, I probably could have gleaned something from the fact that there's fear, to, fear and loyalty right there, which is only seen in companions so there we go but uh, yeah I didn't think of that um, I just saw the line where we could ask her to join us but um, yeah if you want to join me it'll have to be as my beta Kills in shadow is not beta but even alphas submit to stronger willed primas many packs make a tribe is this not a thought humans also understand Beast woman will follow Fate Binder. Will not dominate. Unless Fate Binder begins to smell weak. Hmm. Fine. But keep your nose to yourself. <laughs> she tongues her on her one of her upper fangs. Sp uh, lips split in feral grin. The beast woman huffs and turns to address her pack. Kills in Shadow will not shelter stone whelps anymore. Scamper run flee! Not want to see shadows lurking, stalking behind. 
Barb cleft his leader now. The pack hesitates, causing Kills and Shadow to emit a low, menacing growl. We're not like if Kills and Shadow catches sight or scent of stone mongrels again. And there she is. She's a level 7. I can't really see how she is because I don't want to lose any of our, one of our any of our guys. I imagine she's just basically a melee brawler sort of thing or a an armed brawler maybe, who knows. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't be, she's got some uh yeah, probably she's not going to be able to wear armor and all that sort of stuff, but it's going to be interesting if we ever use her. I don't think we will. Uh and with that, I think the tribe is leaving. Let's see. We've got a beast woman, mystic, beast man and beast man. So apparently the the beast women are bigger than the beast men. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we have here. The great spikes of the blade grave provides cover for soldiers and beasts alike, making them perfect sites for ambushing unwary travelers. And that's what we got. We got an ambush. Will yeah, do. but that difference in size, that... Uh, oh, that's got a name. Etro... Oh, it's a, it's a name. It's a name. The, the difference between... Uh, like physical aspects between male and female in the species. Like, for example, a female spider will always be much bigger than the, than a male spider. Uh, of course, I don't know about their societies, uh, if they even have one. Probably don't, because, you know, very few animals do have societies or sort of colonies or... that's I don't think spiders do. Uh, but, yes, yeah, spiders... Uh, have b the females are way bigger, and uh, that kind of explains why they are matriarchal, or at least I think maybe partially explains. Let's see. Um, so we are going to continue going to Sentinel Stand in six hours and ten minutes. Let's go. Yeah, we passed through this. Unless this, this sort of formation, I'm not really sure how it would form. Those, yeah, those things are quite common. Then uh, I have no idea how those would form, but here we are. It's a small map. I am willing to believe that the entrance is going to be that way. So let's go this way first. Try to... Uh... Oh, I can't Sorry, go back there. I can't. I know. I know. You can't. You can't. But let's go this way then. Been a while since I last came to Stalwart. All that disfavored fighting led to this. In the edict as well, I guess. Wasn't me, though. Was it? No. I don't think it was. I think I... Uh, the uh, I, I proclaimed two edicts. And uh, was the... Edict of Fire, I think, that destroyed I the uh, Burning Citadel, or the Burning Library. And this and the, this last one, the Edict right. of uh, Death and Destruction, I don't know. The edict, I do, actually don't remember what the name of the Edict was. Doesn't really matter. Let's go under this bridge. You know what this reminds me of a lot? Um, the Line. Operation Spec Ops, The Line, I think that's the name. Just the sort of tones, Sorry, I guess. I can't. Of course, it's a first-person shooter. It's it's not a role-playing game. There's absolutely no choices you can do during the game that affect the st the plot line whatsoever. But oh, actually, there is one in the middle. But it's actually a pretty awesome uh, shooter, and also it's got pretty cool art direction. Let's see what we have here. The moat that once encircled Sentinel stand has long since succumbed to the harsh environment. Uh, standing water and patches of moist dirt are all that remain. Really? Huh? So okay, that's an interesting thing. So. It the wind apparently blows everything away. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, you can can you see the moat? We were in the moat before. These things are weird. They are weird. I, I, I'm sh maybe the game has told me already what they are, but I, I don't know what they are. These things. These fangs. Um, the Edict of Fangs should be the name. Let's see what that is. This is a heavy armor helmet. Plus one armor in comparison to ours. Plus fire. Oh, minus recovery. Nothing really that I would want and I'm gonna try and shy away from her if she has light armor already so I'm gonna use that one right there to see what I have here Is that light armor tell me that's light armor that's heavy armor okay what do you have this she oh yeah she can't use uh, that one okay so no oh, you don't have this you have that okay uh, also do we do we perchance are we able to use this we are she leveled up her lore already which is awesome so I'm gonna the Sigil of Piercing. This skull contains a magical accent which causes a distant impact spell to pierce through its target in a line. And actually, that's fantastic. And uh, almost as fantastic, or probably as fantastic as the spell that I, or the ability that I gained last episode, which was phenomenal and we'll use it right. soon enough. Rativev. The scout straightens as you approach, squinting through the harsh wind. Are, are, you, are you the support that Ash sent out? What? I, yeah, I mean, to, yeah, I, I mean, two nuns, I'm two nuns fate binder. Glad to hear it. You can never be too careful out here. I'm half blind from this storm, and you agents of the court don't always stand out. No, no offense. 
We've been patrolling the outer walls, but there's no sign of the enemy. Either they know not to come here, or they're better at hiding than I credited. Them rebel shifts about like they, the winds do, they do. Yep, yeah, I suppose. And these winds don't make tracking any easier, do they? Well, perceptive. No, they don't. No, that was actually... You shouldn't have said that. Come on, guy. Come on, writers! Don't word, don't write that word right there. I know it's perceptive. It had a, bra a, a square brackets thing before. It was a smart thing to say. Don't have the NPCs tell me that's a smart thing to say. But anyway, no, they don't, he says. The Unbroken can navigate the terrain as boldly as they please, and the edict wipes away all trace of their passage. No footprints and no way to telling them apart from ordinary storm debris. The Overlord's magic almost wiped out the people of Stalwart, but it, it seems to be helping those who are dogged enough to survive. Hmm, yeah, I guess I can understand that. Have you uh, run into any Unbroken recently? More than a fortnight ago, but she dashed off right quick before we could knock arrows. They're a cautious lot, but cunning. Not even Karas could have expected them to use the storm to their advantage. Yeah, can we enter the fortress? In these winds? <laughs> I wouldn't venture to try it if I had a thousand shields to guard me. Come take a look and you'll understand. Okay, let's take a look then. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the fortress? Because it looks like I'm already inside the fortress. What kind of... What is... Oh. Yeah. Nothing has changed, says Beric. This is the very storm that shattered the unbroken and disfavored alike. Thank you for bringing me here, F Fate Binder. Beric regards the wind wall and the massive tornado around the, in the inner kip, which is but a distant outline. Straight as Herodin, the last stalwart re regent, cowers behind the walls of his castle, and we won't be able to reach him through this storm. This place brings back unpleasant memories. Huh. The... Mm. The storm didn't leave much behind, did it? A year of brutal weather will do that. Kairos' edict of storms devastated the once mighty realm of stalwart, but all but wiping it from the map. There isn't much left of the old country, save for the unbroken and their stubborn pride. You were at Sentinel Stand during the war? Regrettably. The general's daughter and the member of her cohort were captured in the second year of the war. By the third, we had tracked her to Sentinel Stand. We knew that the edict was coming, but thought it were it worth the risk. The battle dragged on longer than it should have, and we got caught in the storm. He sighs, and a cascade of sand escapes his shoulder joints. Ah, that was the day I woke up and enc encased in this be damned rust bucket. And why this place brings to mind unfinished business. Tell me of the regents. They were bureaucrats and diplomats, all drunk and on their own self importance. Straight as a road, it never impressed me, but the people of Stalwart revered the man. Cowardice must run in the regent bloodline. When the edict struck, Straight as hid in his castle and watched his country fall to pieces, an honorable man would have died for his people. Yeah. It was a good thing that, um, that Graven Ash was given the opposite choice. Leave for your people. But, yeah. It's just... Hmm. I'm only interested in one thing. How do we get inside? I couldn't say. The powers fighting over this realm must have some notion. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't squabble for, uh, for control over this blasted wasteland. We should track down someone with answers. Do you hear that? Barry cups his gauntlet hand to his ear. You catch an odd sound in the wind. A low... There it is. A low moan, hidden within a cacophony of swirling dirt and metal debris. The clouds of dust seem to close in upon you. Within them, you see patches of glowing red. Okay. Hi. Hi? Is it the Bane? No oh boy! Are these Bane? They're scourges. What the hell are they? I... Sure, okay. Um... So everybody's attacking except for, uh, okay, everybody is using their abilities. Okay, so this is Barrick, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna try and use this ability right here, try and make them all attack him as, as soon as possible. Next up, we got uh, you over here. I'm gonna try, uh, that's Raptivac. I'm gonna try and move you around here, see if I can do this. I can, I will be able to anyway. There it is, that's the one. Use it, use it. Okay, so she needs to get close here. Because he needs to attack her and not move away. Uh, and she's gonna do a rhyme spike that's gonna freeze him. And I think 
uh, immune to burning. Oh, they're setting us to burn. Fantastic. That's that's great. That's great. Okay, so you're gonna try to kill this guy as soon as possible. What are you doing, miss? Do not do what you are about to do. Let's not use. Let's not set them on fire. And actually, no, that's immune to burning. They are immune to burning. Hmm. Okay, so in that case, you're gonna switch your weapons, and you're gonna attack with this thing over on this guy. I must. And uh, we'll see how things go. So, normal mode is active, this guy is going to town on that one, and uh, you are not attacking with your nice attacks, please, please do that one. Okay, did you do... Yeah, he did that, but he didn't bring them down, unfortunately. So let's go with a charge here. That'll be an interesting thing. Let's go, let's go ahead and do that. Because that guy is kind of stuck, and I kind of want to... Kill these guys as soon as possible. Who's that? Verse, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, you're melee. Forgot about that. Um, switch to ranged again. See if you can kill that one with quickness. That'll be a good thing. And what can you do over here? Go with another military... M it's not military. What's the name of that thing? Hundred fists. I was gonna... I was, I was, in my mind, it was a million fists, but it's it's not a million fists. Um, electric jolt. Let's go with a cons concussive bolt. Hit. See if we can bring it down. I think everything is going well. We still don't have any wounds, which is fantastic. I'm not sure if they patched the game to make it easier or if we're just getting that better. I hope it's it's, it's us that's getting better. Uh, let's see what you can do. You can hobble prey. That's not really anything that I want. You could go. Yeah, it can't do anything. Just continue. Actually, you know what? Kill her. I'm on it. I think actually what's happening is that uh, they're not doing as much damage as they were before, and that makes it uh, less likely that we get wounds. Because I think you can l get to low health uh, as long as you don't take any like, any severe blow. You can get to low health without. Um... What the hell? Why is why is it like that? Huh? You can get to low health without taking any get wounds. Which is pretty fan. Oh, he's disengaging. Oh, he's attacking that guy. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see what you can do, sir. Make it bleed. Probably gonna be immune, but we're gonna learn then. Immune to bleeding. Okay, that's nice. We got a thrust. Go ahead and do that. And he's doing his thing already right there. Pretty good stuff. Let's see what you can do here. Iron tolling. That's uh, marking the targets. Uh, arrows verse into barrack. Okay, so that's gonna be actually pretty good. Let's have verse do that. And you're gonna do your thing. And uh, she's doing actually good things. Let's see if I can do something here that does damage to everybody. Actually, not. Unfortunately, it's kind of weird. I don't really understand. Oh. Hmm. Because you, you. Hmm. Okay. Oh. That was quite pretty. I like that. I like that note. Okay, I can charge over here if I wanted to, but that's not gonna really get me anywhere. I could move Can't around. Do. Oh, that disengages even though he moves around. Okay, let's do that. And it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it hurts friends as well. Oh, I killed that guy! Ha! That's what you get! Okay, so that means that she... If that guy... Oh, that guy is engaging her, which is bad. But I have... Don't I have an ability here that allows her to disengage? No, she doesn't. Okay, she took a wound. That's okay. Just one, I think. Yeah, she just gets one. So I think I'm gonna think move away. Uh, disengage again and I attack that I one. Do that. Yeah. Why are you not attacking? Oh, she's attacking. Oh, oh, she's attacking. And there it is. So we took one wound. That's good enough. The Bane... Oh, they are Bane then. Okay, then I was right. The Bane are gone. They are a natural cry silenced, leaving only the tornado's violence in your ears. As the dust cloud recedes, you spot a crouched figure on the wall above. Fatebinder, look there. Atop Where? the walls. We aren't alone. Over there? No, we're not. No, we are not. Who's that? Janos. Or Janos, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, let's get this. So got wells down here. Let's get that stuff over there. Let's right. see if we can go around Sorry, through there. No, I we can't. cannot. So let's go upstairs. Uh, oh, a soldier kneels behind the ruined parapet. You can tell by his raiment, old stalwart gear, and he's an unbroken soldier. He peers at you with a mixture of caution and curiosity. You handled the bane well enough, but what brings you to this forsaken place? He pauses as recognition dawns in his eyes. He, you don't look like the typical rank and file of Kairos' army. But you're no son of stalwart either. He squints at your raiment and takes your measure. No. You're the fate binder who broke past the Vendoran Guard. I think you'll f find yonder wind wall a tougher nut to crack than the Apex Citadel. <laughs> well, I'm here to end the Edict of Storms. Is that how it works? Kairos casts an edict and sends lackeys to the cleanup effort. Uh, in that case, I'm glad we'll st we're still independent and you of you Imperial dogs. Enjoy it while it lasts, says Verse. When the region is under our control, you'll be breaking your back digging mass graves. I'll be watching. I suggest you make little, uh, you make like a storm and blow, because you're not going to get inside this fortress. 
When you report back to your master, tell him that first scout Yana sent you off into your tail, tucked between your cheeks. With your tail, tucked between your, your, your cheeks. So it's Yanos. He said Yanos, so it's Yanos. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. So preser Perseverance, Open, the Sunspet... Uh, why do the Unbroken hate Stratus Heronin? Do they hate Stratus Heronin? Let's l learn about the Unbroken. Its a legion was the proud and accomplished army of the realm of Stalwart. Citing their victories as evidence of skill, they prided themselves on never facing defeat while fighting on home soil. After the Edict of Storms tore apart Stalwart and twisted it into the Blade Grave, um, barely a twentieth of the Unbroken's former strength survived to continue the war against Kairos' forces. Yeah, but why do, do you hate Stratus Heronin? He's a spineless old man who hides behind his soldiers and doesn't possess any of the values he hammers into others. Oh, sorry, I was talking about Graven Ash. <laughs> Yanos flashes you a crude sign with his fingers. Would that I had the strength to tear down this wall and kill him myself, says, Ber says Beric. Herodin is a relic of the past, and we're looking to the future. We don't have any hope of squirming out from under Kairos' thumbs while the old regent enjoys his twilight years, sipping dusty wine and hiding from the war. Yeah, in that, I think... I think I can respect that. What can you tell me of the reagents? The reagents. The, re the regents. The regents were our royal family. They governed old stalwart, protected our borders, and rallied our armies when in need. Kairos' butchers left out, left but one regent standing, and he's as useless as a mustache on a mallet. Do you know anything about Graven Ash's daughter, Amelia? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Not too good with names, and your voice isn't carrying over the winds. He flashes you a wide, gr knowing grim. Grin, I mean. Impertinent scum, says Beric. Climb over that wall and let me beat the truth out of you. What do you know about the Edict of Storms? The storm will continue for as long as straight as a rodent lives. I wager that we're both keen on stopping the old coward's heart, though I'll do everything in my power to make sure that you never get any closer to, sen to Sentinel Stand than this. What if I... Oops, I'm a step closer. And another? Are you going to do something about it, says Verse, or just stare at me from your little nest up there? Your antics don't amuse me in the slightest, Scarlet Fury. Dance away if you must. You won't make it through the wind wall as I leave and breathe. For a second there I was worried that we would have to let you leave. But, uh, you put that to rest. Yeah. <laughs> First, stop playing with your food. <laughs> yeah, I... yeah. Perseverance opened the sunset spire. I'll... it'll... it'll crack Stalwart's little wind wall, I guess. He straightens his posture and appraises you in silence. You can say this much, but buy into what you're preaching, and I have to respect that. Plenty of folks... Huh, plenty of folks have tried to get into Sentinel's stand and failed, but none of them had a spire to call home. So what are the Bane doing here? Don't you know anything? The Bane are drawn to Kairos' magic like flies around a corpse. This whole region is polluted in the, with the Overlord's reek, nowhere more so than the Wind Wall before us. Mind yourself around there, Claws, Faintbinder. It's said that once the Bane have you in their clutches, they never let go. How can I get inside the Sentinel Stand? Inside Sentinel Stand. Throwing yourselves into the wind wall comes to mind. Take a few steps inside and see how long it takes for the wind to strip you down to a skeleton. I'd love to say to stay and chat, but it's high time that I reported on your presence to my superior office. Be seeing you, Fatebinder, though you might not see me. He ducks behind the parapet and vanishes into the obscurity of the storms. Damn that vain southern wretch! Rativak spits. The Unbroken know their territory better than us, and they take every opportunity to flaunt it. <sighs> what was that scout even doing here? Look, there's there's a corpse on the wall. Might bear a closer look. I can't tell from here, but I think I'm. It's wearing this favorite colors. Yeah. Sorry, I can't. Hopefully, it's not just the colors that are there, rather than the corpse with the colors, because that would mean that that guy with, with this was disfavored. But I don't think that's gonna be the case. Let's see what happens here. So we got ourselves a potion of protection. That's pretty good. That's, oh, you don't want to do that. Uh, the body has been here a long time, and the storm has long since eroded skin from bones. Tucked away in one of the gauntlets, you'll find the scrap of a distinctive battle standard. That's the general's family crest. Amelia and her unit must have come through here. It seems a lifetime ago that we marched on Sentinel's stand. At least this proves we were on the right track. So close, too. The girl might still be alive out there. Uh, Beric looks to the wind wall with regret. Tell me about her. Yeah, she was always headstrong, says uh, Rativek. Took after her father in that regard. She also demanded that the Legion treat her like an ordinary soldier wherever possible, though in truth, she was far from ordinary. 
She's not an Archon like Ash, but she's vicious with a sword and good with her troops. I sparred with her outside the Bastard City and almost lost an ear for my troubles. Really, what makes you think she's alive? Ash's protection would keep her standing long after anyone else would have fallen. I don't like to think that she's endure what she's endured in her imprisonment, but we can help her put behind her. Yeah, it has favored our a hardy folk, says Ratifek. A hammer to the skull, a sword to the gut, an arrow to the spine. We don't go down easily. We can march for days without cracking a yawn, or little else I could guarantee. Of little else I could guarantee, but I know this much. The daughter of Graven Ash can outlast any prison. So, what are the next steps? And uh, the Squatch, apparently, is now unlocked on the world map. Ash bade us to bring order to the region, says Barrick. But we need to learn as much about the, his daughter as possible. I heard tell of an unbroken fort called the Squatch. One of the, our soldiers has been imprisoned there since around the time Amelia's unit went missing. I'll wager anything that if we shatter the unbroken defensive, we'll learn more about her whereabouts. Barrick is correct. They took Kalida's captive, supposedly one of the stone shields who traveled with Amelia. You want to make contact with Osmius, the commander in charge of taking Dusk of uh, yeah of, of taking Dusk Watch. I'm sure he would appreciate the aid of a fate binder. You go on ahead. I need to double back and relay this to Ash. That should raise the old man's spirits, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, we're getting a little bit closer, but I'm not really sure what this means. I think the implications there of of the bane right. being here and so far away from the old walls or whatever. I don't really understand what what how those things are gonna play into each other's, but yeah. Hmm, it's interesting anyway. Definitely interesting. We got a javelin over here. I think you could benefit from a javelin um, in your hand rather than to your face. Let's see, because uh, ooh, she has scorned mana. Nah, she doesn't. She doesn't. Ooh, we got this. So Amelia's battle standard. There it is. This appears to be the scrap of the battle standard carried by Amelia, the daughter of the Archon of War. And I know where it was found. I also found... Oh, this is the incomplete charcoal rubbing. And I think the rest of the stuff was just... Uh, might have been this, Red Moss Paltis. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, and with that, right. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Tyranny. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.